Good morning, folks. We're starting as we did yesterday with towering plasma filament turning onto the Earth-facing disk. We've got some interesting news articles today, an update to the earthquake watch, both good and bad news. Website members who follow Deeper Look should feel pretty good about what's happening on our star in terms of predictability of sunspots weeks in advance. But first, let's come to spaceweathernews.com, and the last day on our star was very quiet. Coronal holes, plasma filaments, still taking the top spots to watch. The southeast incoming had a surface surge this morning that also probably won't be producing anything for our planet. Looking at the solar wind shows some denser waves this morning, but with lessened speed, any disruptions would be moderate at worst, but we expect a bigger impact towards this weekend from the solar wind spewing out of this earth-facing coronal hole system. The good news is that our quake watch from it began slowly, more unusual locations upticking in a mid-magnitude swarm up and down South America. They are likely the ones to start the slow rise of earthquakes due to the twin earth spots straddling the landmass. Neither over a fault just yet, but they're moving. So while we luckily started slowly, the bad news with the quake uptick on our doorstep is that it may not just be six magnitudes. In addition to the Earth-facing coronal hole system, we've got a major surge in heliospheric energy with a rise in sunspot activity. They are now popping up across our star, and although they have failed to get active thus far, no real flaring, just a slight uptick rise, we are beginning to see magnetic complexity born and spreading among these young and undersized active regions. Beta polarity with delta potential at three locations if we get some morphing. Website members will recall that this time at the end of the month was ripe for a solar uptick as the primary heliocentric geometry comes into play, Mercury, Sun, and Venus. The sunspots are indeed surging after that last big one departed as seen as the dip down and rise back up in our coverage app testing here. Sunspot number itself on fire as well. The peak should come imminently, so while the first day of the earthquake watch was modest, the peak may go higher than I expected. Let's run through the top stories. First, German nuclear plant discovered to be full of computer viruses. Current stopgap is to keep the system unplugged from the internet, which is like duct tape on a gunshot wound. Apparently, Earth is getting greener. Much greener. I once thought my biology professor was crazy for saying Earth had been approaching a dangerously low level of CO2 for plants before the Industrial Revolution, but I've since heard it from NASA folks as well, and this study seems to show what the plants are really asking for. Lots of observers also take an interest in social elements of the alternative media world, like finding out the truth about all these chemicals that weren't properly tested. Turns out, Regulators are ready to fight back a bit. Despite the revolving door between government and companies like Monsanto and DuPont, it appears at least a few of them are saying no more. Weather got a bit rough in the United States last night, but not so rough as it could have been. Hail and flooding were more of a story than tornado events, and we're very thankful for that. Eyes open for those in tonight's storm zones, as that same lucky streak can't be guaranteed again tonight. Across the pond, the major story is the wind drive around the low, driving Arctic air down for a winter reminder for much of the area. Top center here, you see an earth spot crossing the subduction zone near Japan. Not a typhoon, but don't tell that to the precipitation totals. They don't care. Down under, they're still watching that Antarctic low reaching up towards land there. It begins to crest over them tonight and into tomorrow. Featured content today is our special release from last week the number one risk to Earth. If you didn't catch it yet, you can just Google the name or head over to suspiciousobservers.org and it's the second video down right there on the homepage. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.